Hey boys and girls, today we're going to read a story about flies. So we're learning about another insect. Our story is written by Margaret Hall and um, Gail Saunders Smith, PhD, was the consulting editor on it. Now boys and girls, we're going to find out what flies are, how they look, and what flies can do. Alright, flies are insects with two wings and six legs. Flies can be many colors. Most flies are brown, black, or gray. Some flies are smaller than a person's fingernail. Other flies can be as big as a paper clip. Flies have two big eyes, and each eye has many small lenses. Flies can see very well. So if you look really close, friends, these are their two large eyes. But then if you look even closer, there's like little, little um, sections or lenses, like they call it. And it just helps them see even better. Flies walk upside down with their sticky feet. Flies suck nectar from plants. Flies carry pollen from plant to plant. Some female flies bite people and animals. They need a meal before making eggs, and blood helps them make eggs. Female flies lay eggs. The eggs hatch into larvas, and the larvas quickly grow into pupas. So these are what the fly eggs look like. The pupas become flies with strong wings, and the flies zoom away. Alright friends, now you are going to turn in your insect book and you are going to turn to this page that says fly right there. Now on this page, you are going to write some interesting facts about flies. Remember when we're writing a sentence, we write a complete sentence with a capital letter, finger spaces, and an ending punctuation. Then you're gonna go right down here and there is a picture of a fly. So what you're gonna do is you're going to label the fly. Right here is your words that you're going to use. The first word is wings. Then it's legs, head, thorax, and abdomen. So you're going to pay very close attention to where the actual um, arrow is pointing, and then you are going to label that. Then you're going to come up here and you're going to draw a picture of a fly that, of your own. And then right here, you're going to write a science word definition. So you are going to tell me what a maggot is. Okay? So write your science definition of the word maggot. All right, friends. Have a great day.